So hi, I'm in London and I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I have a job interview and I decided to vlog uh, this week because um, I just wanted to do something different and I did it before and I thought why not try again. Um, but I have a job interview in like less than an hour, about 50 minutes. I got here very early. I'm a little bit lost in Oxford Circus and have no idea where I'm going. Um, so. This is fun. Um, I'm gonna vlog throughout the week and we'll see how it goes, but I'm freaking out about my interview because this is a job that I'd actually, I'm actually qualified for. And yeah, so fingers crossed, but you'll see me after when I'm a little bit calmer. So I've got about half an hour until my interview and um, uh, I'm a little bit freaked. I'm at the hotel, but I don't want to go in yet. I'm supposed to call him when I get the, the person who's interviewing me when I get to the restaurant. I remembered on the train here that I forgot to take my meds this morning, which is great. Um, so I'm a little bit anxious. The interview's done. At least he had the decency to reject me during it, rather than leaving me hanging for two weeks waiting for an email. So I'm gonna go and have a little wander around London. I'm gonna go and see some nice theatres, and I'm gonna look at them, and I'm gonna go and see the Hamilton, the place where they're showing Hamilton, because I'm going to see that in June me up a bit. Nothing to crush your confidence more than being rejected in the middle of an interview. I'm here and I can see it and I'm very excited, I'll be honest. There it is. Victoria Palace Theatre, Hamilton. That's where it's gonna be. I'm gonna be there in June. That's really exciting. Hamilton. I'm so excited for when I get to see this. It's going to be amazing. Victoria Palace Theatre. It's so pretty. I may not have got the job, but I love coming to London. And I love seeing theatres. But it's time to go back to Southampton now. And end this day even though it's only like I don't even know what time it's only three o'clock and I just I want to go I want to go to bed normally there's a straight train from um, London Victoria to Southampton turns out today there isn't so I've got to get back on the tube <sighs> today just oh it's just not happening for me back in Southampton uh, got my headphones in so I don't know how the audio is going to be. I don't know if it's changed. I'm sorry if it has. Um, oh, I'm so disappointed. It's the first time I've ever been rejected in the middle of an interview. I'm just so fed up of getting nowhere. I really probably wasn't the best thing that I didn't take my meds this morning to be honest. But we all make mistakes. Well, to cheer me up I'm going to Toys R Us because it's closing down and there might be something cheap and cheerful in there, you know, to cheer me up. <laughs> Who knows? I don't. But here we are. So, hello. It's Sunday. Um, you just saw all my London stuff. And today I'm having a day where originally I wasn't going to leave the house. Hence, no makeup and looking like a troll. I'm doing uni work all day, and the one piece of stationery I need is a ruler. And it's one piece of stationery I don't own. So, let's come and get one. It's one of those days where I know I've got to do my work and I know I've just got to plough through it because I've got a deadline on Wednesday. But I just don't want to at all. I really, really don't want to. But I'm going to because I'm a good student and it's a group project and I don't want to let my group down. So yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna get hopefully some chocolate and a ruler 
and I'll check in with you later. Hello, I've barely vlogged today. Oops, um, it's like five o'clock and I've been at uni because I've got a group presentation to in on Wednesday. So I've been working on that and that's not very interesting. As you've seen from my, um, the clip I just showed before this, which I recorded when I was working. Um, but yeah. Can you stop being hungry? This goes in your vlog, I will crucify you. Can't stop the vlog. Can't stop the vlog. So we've got a presentation tomorrow and we've just run through it for the first time. Yeah. How do you guys feel? Are you excited? I feel good. I don't know if excited is the word, but I do feel quite yeah, relieved. Excited's a bit yeah. strong word. We're gonna I'm be not excited. We're do really well. And I'm quite proud of the content that we've yeah. actually created. I think it's quite good considering our quick turnarounds. But presentation tomorrow which I we all kind of aren't looking forward to but no but the people that we're delivering it to us exactly nice. it's not so like a big a, group of people right. it's people that we know so it's good we're good we're, go we're getting there we're getting there say bye bye, bye, -bye. so hi um, just left my group Lauren and Alex and I'm going into town to get my prescription and I've been fine I've been absolutely fine all day and then as soon as I leave and I start being on my own and being with my thoughts, all I want to do is cry. I'm walking into town and I just want to cry. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I want to feel like... Oh, I don't know. I, w I don't want to keep on friggin' walking home from uni and wanting to burst into tears. It's ridiculous. I mean, a few months ago I was bursting into tears and now I, I don't, but I feel it and I just feel so awful. I feel like I don't really have anyone to talk to. I miss having someone to talk to. I just don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to feel sad all the time. I don't want to be keeping, I don't want to keep putting up a front when I'm with people. I don't want to keep on pretending that I'm happy and then walking home and feeling like crap. It sucks. It sucks so bad. And I don't know what to do about it. They've upped my dosage. I can't, I don't want to go back to the doctor and say I need more. But I don't know if it's helping anymore. I hate it. But I'm going into town and I'm going to get my prescription for the next month and maybe some hair dye or something and some food. I want food. I'm in my bathroom so that you can see the hair but I lightened it and it's slightly more orange now. But yeah, I said that I was going to in the last clip so here it is. I'm feeling a lot happier than I was earlier and I'm talking reasonably quietly because I don't want people in my house to think I'm weird for talking to myself in the toilet. But um, yeah, I feel better than I did when I was walking earlier. That's something. Hey, I have a fringe. I just did this very spontaneously, not entirely sure why, but I've got to live with it now. What time is it? It's like nearly 12 o'clock. I have a presentation tomorrow, so I'm going to go to sleep. I've got an early morning, go to uni, and then we'll see what the day brings. Oh, this is going to get annoying really quickly. I'm in the uni newsroom on my own. I just got here, it's ten past nine in the morning and I'm in the middle 
have a panic attack, which is not fun. Probably the worst one I've had in a while. I've started, oh, this morning I started scratching my hand again, which is a kind of nervous tick I have and now it really hurts. And I just don't feel good at all. I'm not ready for the day. And I'm not ready to do a presentation. I'm just freaking out and I don't know why. I hate it. What is wrong with me? I thought I was getting better. I thought I was okay. And I'm not. I'm not okay. I don't know what to do. to get out of this mindset before people come in and be put before I have to start my day at uni properly okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna do some work I'm gonna prep for my presentation and I'm gonna try not to scratch my hand <laughs> I'm vlogging all week yeah this is Sophie, she has Hi. a vlog. I, I She's literally just uploaded it. Genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Link in the description. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I'll put it in yeah. the description. Yeah. It's Sophie Counts Clouds. That's the one. Yeah, there the she most, is. Most childish YouTube name. It's not childish. Of. Mine used to be Charlie Wally Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Charity, five. I can get it. Oh! I can I'm going to make it worse. I'll get it. It's fine. Back at festivals with you, yeah? Oh, oh, that was so bad. Like, the Jernos. We'll have a presentation. Oh, we're all it's very excited. How did it go? Yeah, it was all right. There's a big difference in our attitude yesterday in the pod than today. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Do you know what though? I think when you have like bad. Or like well, feedback's yeah. not as good on a presentation. If we then get an okay grade, we'll be more happy and thankful. That's true. And the presentation was just 20%. So. Uh -huh. hey, <laughs> Why do you like this? The perfume. Our lecturer hasn't turned up. Oh. oh. No, he's not tall he's enough. Not tall enough. Uh, not so... I wanted to show you my hand because this is a mental health vlog at the end of the day. It's not just my days. There's no point in that. This is to talk about mental health and my mental health. I have anxiety and depression. Um, an anxious tick that I have is scratching my hand when I'm nervous. And today I had a presentation, as you've seen in the previous clips, and I've as well as having the presentation and make that making me really really nervous I've also just I just woke up and I just wasn't in a good place I just I wasn't feeling up for going to uni and I just it just wasn't it hasn't been a good day for me mentally so I took it out unfortunately on my hand and these marks are new unfortunately um it's something that I had stopped doing and I haven't done for ages. So I'm very disappointed that I I went to that again. Um, I went to see my uh, tutor at university. He gave me an elastic band to put around my wrist and kind of ping myself if I uh, felt the need to scratch, which has been kind of helpful because I haven't scratched my hand really since um, he gave me the elastic band. It's not leaving a permanent mark if I ping myself and it kind of just gets out the anxious energy. But I thought I should show you guys this and explain that while I have been on the antidepressants now for a good few months, there are still days like this. Okay, so we've reached the end of the vlog now because it's about 14 minutes long. I was going to do it for the whole week, but that means doing another two days and I'm just going to leave it here on Wednesday 
because it is long and I don't want it to be a really, really, really ridiculously long video. But um, if you've liked the video, please let me know and I'll do more of these types of videos. Um, what else is there? Um, Sophie, she was in my vlog earlier. Um, if you want to follow her, her link is in the description. Sophie Counts Clouds on YouTube. And yeah, um, if you have any questions about anything, I don't know, let me know. And I'll see you next week. Who knows what day? I don't. <laughs>